can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. For the ladder collision, we will create a new scene with an area 2D as the core. Right click, hit rename, rename it to ladder area 2D. We separate this from any dedicated ladder scene, as we will only need one ladder area 2D in each level with ladders. Additionally, this will also allow for uniquely sized ladder collision. Next, drop down collision, remove the mask, and set the collision layer to 5. You don't need to set it exactly to 5, just make sure there is a dedicated layer for ladder collision only. Finally, go to scene, scene save as, and save it. Now inside of your player scene, add a raycast 2D as a child, right click, rename, rename it to ladder detect ray, set the target position to 5.5 on the y axis, drop down transform, and set the position to negative 1.75 on the y axis. This raycast is important, as we will use this to detect when we are colliding with a ladder. To make sure the raycast is the same size as the player's collision shape, enable hit from inside. This will make sure that in the case of the raycast initially loads inside of a ladder collider, but it still detects it, and go to collide with, enable areas, disable bodies. This is because the ladder collider is an area 2D and not a body. Finally, set the collision mask to 5, or whatever layer you have for ladder collision. Inside the player script, we will create a variable called on ladder. This will help differentiate between regular movement and ladder movement. We will then create three custom functions, movement for regular movement, ladder detect for setting on ladder to true or false, and ladder movement for the movement when we are on the ladder. Movement and ladder movement will both have delta for frame rate independent movement. I will then move all the movement code from the physics process function into the new movement function, although I will keep the move and slide call inside of the physics process function. Then inside the physics process function, we call ladder detect, then check if on ladder, and we run the appropriate movement function. Then we call move and slide. Make sure to pass the delta variable from the physics process function into the movement functions, as the custom functions are just mimicking the name delta, and for real delta, we still need to grab it from the physics process. Inside of the ladder detect function, we check if the ladder detect ray is colliding, meaning that we are on a ladder, and we check that we are not on the floor. Then we check if either the up or down arrow is pressed, which is the input to begin climbing the ladder, and we enable on ladder appropriately. Then, to ensure that the player snaps to the middle of the ladder, we create a variable called desired xpos, which will grab the area 2D that the raycast is colliding with. Then, we grab that area 2D's child, and for the specific collision shape 2D node, we can grab that using get collider shape. Then finally, we grab the global x position, which will be the horizontal middle of the collider of the ladder. We then check if the player's global x position is not equal to the collider's x position. Then, we create a tween, and call tween property, asking the player their global x position, their desired xpos, and 0.05 seconds for the total time of the animation. Additionally, we set the transition to sign so that the animation looks smoother. Finally, on the else, we set on ladder to false. For the ladder movement function, we define two variables. Y input is equal to 0, 1, or negative 1, depending on the direction that we are trying to move. And velocity weight is the speed we accelerate or decelerate towards the max speed. Based on if we are pressing a movement key or not, we also make sure to multiply by delta for frame rate independence. Then, we set the velocity dot y to a lerp towards y input multiplied by max speed at the rate of velocity weight. A lerp simply moves the first value towards the second at the speed of the third, which is also known as the weight. Make sure to also set velocity.x to zero, as the player cannot make any horizontal movement when climbing the ladder. And I also lerp the sprite's rotation degrees towards zero to reset my rotation animation on my sprite. You can also add any other ladder climbing animation code here as well. Inside your level scene, you can place the ladder image that you can download for free, link in the description, with either a sprite or a tile map layer. Then add the ladder area 2D scene that we created earlier. Add a collision shape 2D node as a child, get the shape to a rectangle 2D, then resize and position it appropriately, and everything should work perfectly. Additionally, keep in mind that in the case that you duplicate a collision shape 2D node, and want to change its size independently, to avoid affecting all the duplicated collision shape 2Ds, you must press the down arrow, then select make unique. Now you have a 2D ladder climbing system that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games. Don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.